compositions and benefits of carnivorous animals feed. Uh, hello guys, uh, this time I want to talk to you and explain about the compositions and ingredients of the carnivorous fed that you will find in almost all the shops, supermarkets or dog and cat food stores. Informing you with exact and true data extracted from their own web page, which will provide us and reveal the procedures or styles with which they are acting or working, and with the only intention of sharing and giving information that, from my point of view, is crucial and relevant to know to know about as you well know uh, dogs cats and others animals of this species are true uh, carnivores which means that their nutrition must be 100 percent flesh from animals bodies with all their organs such as liver kidneys and blood why why is this so important to them well there are many evidences or reasons first eat whole whole animals since there is where the minerals, vitamins, proteins or probiotics are found. Second, according to its nature, ways of behaving, construction or biological formation of these kind of living beings, colored dogs, wolves, tigers, or cats. These animals, so loved and adored by most people, are completely different from us, genetically and biologically, and therefore their genetic processes will demand them to do things or be forced to kill for their favorite foods for their survival something that people do not have this such high intrinsic innate needs or imprinted in their dna if you feel pity compassion or sorrow for the death of, or suffering of any living animals, then you are not like dogs or cats. Science, they will never feel the same as us, and therefore, if you have a pet, you should take care of it as it deserves. Many foods companies say that your dog or cat are omnivorous and make or prepare their foods with more than 70% of cereals or vegetables. And this is a lie, is completely false and erroneous when it is scientifically proven by medical studies that carnivores do not produce the enzyme amylase in their salivas, as humans do, to digest vegetables or fruits, to later do the fermentation, and this is because they do not need it. So animal flesh, entrails, bowels or guts 
are their main and essential sources to obtain the minerals, vitamins and probiotics necessary for a correct health and development. You will agree with me that any carnivore, such as dogs and cats, are in this example, they will need animal meat as their basic or fundamental diet every day. Being very dangerous and unwise to feed them in another way. These animals that we have decided to open the door of our houses to live with us are totally different or the opposite of what humans are and they do not need any explanation from science. Science. They behave like this cause they cannot be otherwise and therefore they need animal protein in a large quantities or much more than us. They are very good or polite with us and we must give them what they deserve. If you cannot afford to buy your pets a feed that is really made up of 80 or 19 percent animal flesh you have to do something i let my pets search and hunt their favorite prey while i walk with them throughout the forest or fields to give them a supplement. There are hundreds if not thousands of different manufacturers that are compromising the health of our dear pets and I cannot include them all in this video. Let's see some examples with the help of these images of fat brands that are sold anywhere in the world today, which are not thinking about our beloved pets and are only there thanks to marketing and dissemination by television magazines or newspapers which make it easier for them to continue selling their products and filling their pockets with money while they are weakening and getting sick the health of all carnivore that for a year is subjected to this kind of feed that in its 18% of ingredients is made up of cereals and vegetables and with less than 30% of animal meat. Uh, I will be adding images so that you can assess and appreciate for yourself how people are eating a menu that is indicated, recommended or advised for a carnivore who should devour it due to its very high or elevated content of animal flesh. For me it is heartbreaking and sad to observe how people eat 
top quality flesh with more than 80% of animal protein on their dishes in front of their faithful bodies and on top of all everything that is left over on their plates on some occasions they don't even give it to their cats or dogs and they prefer to throw it in the bins when a carnivore could eat it perfectly but many people think that it is about the needs of the of these living beings in addition when we analy analyze or observe these amounts that every day we see that people are eating in restaurants bars university canteens or parks and i am showing you these pictures or images so that you can see for yourself the dishes that people are eating regularly and i think that this would be a very successful food or dish for your pet and not so much for you since you are not a ruthless carnivore or hunter like they are and therefore they deserve it before you i continue co quoting you all the brands that i have been investigating these days and that you should take in mind and consider in order to not buy their products again royal canin hills era pet food advanced pedigree friskies cesar whiskas acana the honest kitchen blue wilderness natures variety etc are just some of the hundreds of brands that i would not give to my pets for any reasons signs they are mostly made up of cereals and other stuff that are not animal products and on many occasions they do not specify or show the amounts of cereals additives or flesh from which these products are made so we cannot and should not trust in these articles and base ourselves to choose their foods on writing proofs and duly specified or indicated on the packaging these are the feeds that i recommend that you give your pet the diet or barf prepared meals is the best option since these products will be made up entirely of viscera or bowels flesh animal products and oils barfworld.com barfworld.com or natuka barf dot com are two websites where you will find top quality products and perfect composition with with fresh animal products
Sport Leech, Alpha Spirit, Primal Spirit, are feats that has a wonderful composition and also the percentage of meat or internal organs of which it's composed is indicated with writing numbers and is an honest, genuine and reliable option to take care of our best friends. Check and verify it for yourself by visiting the web page of each type of fed brand for carnivorous animals and assess their contents. I will leave you the link of the websites mentioned here that are very interesting where you will find more detailed information about the metabolism of a dog or a cat. Now that you understand and know this data or facts, my advice would be to carefully read the components or ingredients that are situated or allocated in the first place in the description of the fed or prepared food since it will be made entirely by the one that is placed first Chosen brands that specify their composition with numbers or percentage otherwise you will not know what you are giving your pet to eat Also remind you that there is nothing like natural food and for this reason you must conscientiously choose your pet's food so they will have a healthier, longer life and above all a happy one. The feds that are truly healthy for them, some are a little more expensive and not all of us can afford to buy it. There are other brands that I have introduced you that are at a normal price. You can also ask the butcher where you usually buy in case he has some waste in order to save some money and feed your faithful friend with true and essential ingredients that they need cause they are carnivores. If you continue uh, if you still continue giving your carnivorous pets feed made with very high amounts of cereals such as those that I have indicated above, the, those that contain only 30% of animal meat, you are giving them a diet contrary to their nature and in the long term or in one year you will end up harming and depleting their health and well-being since they need to eat at least 19 percent flesh in their diets 
united we must raise our voices and denounce these types of events so that these companies and manufacturers can be suppressed or eliminated from the markets and stores that sadly today are poisoning and harming the health of our best friends who as we all know are the are that for no circumstances or reasons would they abandon us so know that you know this don't abandon him and give him what he is expecting to receive from you the amounts or numbers speak for themselves and many people are daily feeding their pets basically with fat for omnivorous animals and this should not be the case signs true or authentic carnivores who only want animal products on their menu and occasionally some cereals or pies of bread are cats and dogs i know that each one of us is doing everything possible for our beloved pets to take good care of them wishing them a long life but to achieve this you should practice my recommendations and you will see how your pet will be very happy with this change will you agree with me that for humans beings the basic or main foods are fruits vegetables or veggies and that without them we would not be nourished and and that for carnivores eat the flesh they have very acidic stomach juices which allow allows them to digest meat spoiled or rotten or bones without carrying out any fermentation or digestion like our bodies there is a big a big difference between humans and carnivorous animals and this is what you must understand and to give your mate everything he is claiming for you are you weighing and comparing the amounts of animals protein with respect to the weight of vegetables or fruits i do not see a normal or coherent proportion in these images or pictures why do people throw food into the bins or containers in the kingdom of carnivorous animals vocabulary the word animal waste does not exist and they can perfectly eat and digest rotten or decomposed flesh of animals that died months ago and without anything harmful injurious or bad happen to their health 
or vitalities. Humans have premeditated thoughts, meditations or rationality, which allow us to distinguish facts, events or evil happenings, such as abuse, mistreatment or the death of a living being. And when we observe or witness these terrible cases, we know and we are going to report them quickly and then I do not understand how people being like this are eating flesh daily on their dishes or meals. One last example with which I want to show you that we are different from them would be the following. Who has not seen or witnessed in his life the death of any bird, pigeon, partridge or other types of living beings while walking throughout the forest or fired. And having seen or witnessed this, I am sure that the first thing you felt at that moment was pity or compassion towards this animal. But why don't we take this being in our hands or backpacks and take it home to prepare it for our dinners? Now tell me what you think your dog would be half done when he witnessing the death of an animal while taking a walk with you. Do you think he would have felt pity or compassion towards the victim or would have run towards him to eat him directly on the spot or take it with him? My opinion about how we should take care of them would be that they sit at the table with us to eat and let them show us what they want and thus you will observe for yourself what their favorite foods are. I only advise or recommend some nutritional alternatives or variants that I carefully have study and analyze and that you should supervise or check out before putting them into practice and see if they make sense or are logic. Since you are spending money, you should consider buying the healthier option because the prices are similar and the benefits are peace of mind, serenity and the warranty of doing the right thing or what they expect from us. If someone gave you or bought some of the feed that I do not recommend due to its deficient or incomplete compositions, do not be alarmed, cause eating it for a few days will not be harmful for them. It will be bad and dangerous when they consuming it for a few months to a year and without receiving anything more than this kind of products. That is to say, as long as a dog or a cat has eaten its prey or favorite menu, it is when it would not harm it to eat feed with poor compositions, but only like that. These are just some examples and they do not have to be true or, and fit 
or B what is happening in your home and also I only intend to collaborate and help now the only thing I wish for you and your faithful friend is health and prosperity and that of course this work will be useful to you let me know what you think about my explanation or exposition in the space dedicated to it just below the video if you like it the sort of content you are finding on my channels it would be a support for me if you subscribe it and so we can help each others i would also appreciate it that you give me a like or share the, this recording with your fam or friends on social networks so they can watch understand or find out about this unfortunate happening bye no way.